In this video, I will explain the concept of predictive relevance. Q scale is a measure of predictive relevance. I will explain how to calculate Q scale in Morpheus 2. And then I will explain how to interpret the values of Q scale. Q scale is also known as a criterion of predictive accuracy of the model or an indicator of the model's predictive relevance and is also known as stone gizzard's q scale the reason is that it was developed by stone and gizzard q scale is similar with r scale if the value of q scale is less than 0 so that means your model is very poor and all independent variables cannot explain the dependent variable. In other words, we can say there is no predictive relevance. On the other hand, if the value of Q scale is larger than zero, so that indicates that the exogenous constructs have predictive relevance for the endogenous construct under consideration. So here are some guidelines. If Q square value is up to 0 0.02, so that means there is small predictive relevance. If it ranges from 0 0.03 to 0 0.14, then we say there is medium size predictive relevance. On the other hand, if it is 0.35 or larger than that, then we say there is large size predictive relevance. How to calculate Q square? Q square is obtained by using a technique what we call as blindfolding in some RPLS. What is blindfolding? Blindfolding is a sample reuse technique. Mean it creates several samples. How it creates? It omits certain dth data points. What is dth data point? I'll explain it later. So it omits certain data points in the endogenous constructs indicators and estimates the parameters with the remaining data points. The omitted data points are considered missing values, which are treated by smart PLS by using a technique, what we call it mean value replacement. What is the formula of Q square? Q square is equal to 1 minus SSE divided by SSO, where SSO is the sum of the squared observations and SSE is the sum of the squared prediction errors. Now coming to the guidelines. Data omission point is denoted by D and it can range between 5 and 12. However, make it sure that number of observations used in the model estimation divided by the omission distance, mean d, is not an integer. For example, if number of observations are 150 and d is, d you have picked, is 5, since 5 can divide 150, so you can't do that. You have to avoid this 5 digit in this case. Same is with the 6. Since 6 can also divide 150, so we cannot use 6 also. So any digit which can divide your number of observations should be avoided. Otherwise, from 5 to 12, you can pick any value. Some researchers also recommend a range from 5 to 10. And uh, one more thing, let me add over here. Smart PLS 
omits data points. For example, if you have picked a D value of 7, so every 7th data point will be omitted and that would be replaced by a mean value and smart PLS will run the model. Right? And in the second round, 5 will be, uh, 4 will be used, then 2, then 3, 3, 2, 1. So downsides, it will continue till 1. So now let's straight away move towards uh, uh, smart PLS and see how to do all this analysis. So this is our model and we want to estimate Q square of this model here. OP is performance, TI is turnover intention and JS is job satisfaction. So go to calculate, then blindfolding and here uh, select the endogenous variables. So there are two endogenous variables. One is uh, PI and the second one is OP. And as far as the omission distance is concerned, I am going to use 7 here. So let's run that. So let's go to report, then default report. Here you see we have several options. The second one is the construct cross validated redundancy. You see the last column. Last column contains the values of the Q square. So 1 minus SSE divided by SSO. You recall, I had explained you the, this one, the formula. So, in case of OP, Q square is 0.2275. Let's see where does it fall. So, you see here, it falls in the range of medium. So in uh, first case it is medium size predictive relevance. Mean predictive relevance is very much there. In second case also predictive relevance is there. Now here you see, so these are the cases. You see in this case every seventh point have been omitted here every sixth data point have been omitted here every fifth, here every fourth, here every three, third and every second, every. So you see here predictive relevance is established in all cases, at least medium size is there. In none of the cases it is less than zero. So that means um, predictive relevance is established in our model. Thanks for watching.